Megatronics is like a mechanical thing. Like computers. Megatronics are lights. iPhones and computers. Electronics are um, things that run on power. Power and electricity. Megatronics are electronics. This is like electric things. Electronics are um, electric stuff. Megatronics are like computers. Mechanical stuff and a robot. Mechanical stuff are, um, are like moving things made out of supplies. We are building a house out of pretzels and marshmallows and we did a process flowchart on that. Process flowchart has to involve the steps taken to build the actual house, also including like any decisions you need to make, any delays. Yeah, we definitely need larger pretzels. This here is our process flow chart to, for how to make butter or whipped cream. Decisions for which way to go either to make butter or whipped cream is the same process. I get very excited when I get to come into this class because we're always doing something. I will graduate high school with not only my high school diploma, but a, an associate's degree in mechatronics. This is our robot that we made in class. Each of these syringes control a different part of it by pushing the water through the tube and into this, it moves this part of it. And then we try to move the ping pong balls to spell out a new word. To watch those kids engage in that process was really cool. Uh, students were so excited. You could, um, they were challenging one another and kind of competing against one another. It's a class where students learn about what manufacturing is how manufacturing works. They can start here in the eighth grade with the principles of manufacturing class and go all the way through the high school taking uh, classes that allow them by the time they finish high school to graduate with an associate's degree. The kids are excited about the program. The parents are really excited about the program. It just opens up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for students that they wouldn't have otherwise. Our students had an opportunity to go to the TSA competition and they brought home 16 awards um, and we were just excited about that. Those kids I feel like were really prepared. One of the things that I love to be able to do is walk in and ask the students to tell me about what they're doing. Some of the times I don't have any idea what they're talking about because I don't know the science or, or the, the problems that they're solving. But my favorite thing about it is asking them, where does this system happen outside of the school walls? And they're always able to tell me, and that, that is where the magic of this is. And right now we're hooking up a piece of equipment called the contactor, the forward contactor and the reverse contactor to the fuse block so that way whenever we turn it on it's not going to short out or blow a fuse. So it's just kind of more of a safety measure for the machine. So we're hooking up from the bottom of the fuse block to where they're, where they're hooking it up to the left, which is the contactors. Here we're cutting black steel pipe so that we can cut it to a, a certain length and then thread it and use it. Whenever we pull this direction or directional control valve, it'll extend or retract the piston depending on which way we move this little lever. Second directional control valve, which is more of a button, is we connected it to this one makes a cool little swishing noise. It, it just releases gas. The pneumatics is one of my favorite sections of the class. We're gonna plug up the needle valve to um, the supply manifold. We're also going to have it connected to the flow meter and whenever we turn the machine on, when we turn the needle valve, it's going to allow this red, this red line right here to rise up. The gauge right here will also turn. The coolest thing about this program is the amount of time that students spend working together. Why is that fuse block hooked up? Shouldn't these wires, these wires should be over here. Right now we're working on um, some plumbing systems which is uh, done with piping and pneumatics um, and hydraulics uh, machines are in use here. Uh, we also have some people working on our electrical machines. So it's kind of a wide array. Kid that's a day out of high school can, with an associate's degree you know, 18, 19 years old can go into a full-time job making pretty good money uh, pretty much um, at any manufacturing company around the area. 
kids can use it for just their focus electives in high school, their three focus electives, or they can take it as far as an associate's degree. The students that uh, they go through the Fairview program can also come here after they take the courses at uh, Fairview and continue on. A person that has uh, the skills that we teach will have an employability opportunities that pay well. I'm excited about the partnership, the fact that Columbia State has said yes as many times as they have. I'm excited about the innovativeness and the thinking that has gone into making this work. I'm excited about the students who have said yes to this time and time again. We've set opportunities in their laps and in front of them and they have looked at them and said, I can do this and I want this. Kids that are taking standard classes all the way up to kids taking all AP classes can benefit from the program if they're interested in a field in engineering or if they're just a kid that likes to tinker or they like robotics. This is about the opportunity for an associate's degree. It's also about the opportunity to increase the Tennessee workforce and, and send kids into the workforce and advanced manufacturing in ways that, that our state needs. There's nowhere else in the state where that's offered right now and it's just an unbelievable, amazing opportunity. And this is a game changer for them because um, the kids are actually getting college level work while still in high school. That spirit that is just funneling through every bit of this program is, is jaw dropping. And there's, there's no other way to say it. It excites me so, so much because it means the future is so, so bright.